how my experience can benefit others. That's the topic of today's Daily Dose, and I'm Father Alan. I'm recording this little vignette from uh, my room. I have a little little shrine over my shoulder here. I have a first-class relic of St. Marie Goretti. I have a second-class relic of my favorite saint, Blessed Pier Giorgio Frassati, and a little pewter statue of St. Joseph that was given to me recently. In the 12 Steps of Alcoholics Anonymous, after having we've done step nine, the promises start to come true. And one of the promises is that, this is on page 84 of the big book of Alcoholics Anonymous, no matter how far down the scale we have gone, we will see how our experience can benefit others. The only way you and I keep what we have is by giving it away. The experiences that we have in life are meant to be shared with others. We have experiences. Oftentimes we learn by making mistakes. We stumble, we fall, we get back up again, we gain some wisdom about life. So what are some of the experiences that I have gained that I want to offer to you for your benefit? Well, as we go through what we're going through together, keeping that in mind, we're in this together, we need to take it one day at a time. Just one day at a time. If I keep thinking to myself, okay, this is going to go on for another week and a month and two months and three months, I get overwhelmed one day at a time. If I think about doing laundry the rest of my life, I get overwhelmed. I do it once a week. I brush my teeth a couple times a day. I don't think about brushing my teeth the rest of my life. I get overwhelmed. Just take it one day at a time. Another tidbit of experience that I've gained is that we accept things as they are, not as I would have them. What can I do about this? I can cooperate. I can do what I'm asked to do in terms of the civic authorities asking me to do certain things to mitigate the consequences of this disease. That's all I can do. I'm not in control of this thing. I'm not in charge. I'm powerless. I'm completely, totally powerless. And I have to accept that, accept that reality. Easy does it, but do it. Just take it easy. Take ourselves not so seriously, but take God seriously. Easy does it. Don't live your life going 5,000 RPM and wondering why you're exhausted at the end of each day. Easy do it. Easy does it, rather. And in concert with that, a principle that I try to live by is doing the next right thing. What is the next right thing? I get up in the morning. What's the next right thing? What's the next right thing after that? The next right thing after that? And the day goes by. And I experience some degree of serenity and peace, even in the midst of difficulties that are going on around me. I can accept them as they are, not as I would have them. And to remember that this too shall pass. This too shall pass. The day will come when the all clear, it's safe to go out, it's safe to get back to your regular routine. That'll be announced. When? I don't know. I'm powerless over that. All I know is that God is with me today. So, What experience have you gained in your life? And might it be time for you to share some of that with somebody else, to give them the assurance, the confidence, the encouragement that they too need to know that fundamentally we are not in this by ourselves. We are in this together. God bless your day. Keep praying. Keep reaching out to each other, asking each other if we could be of assistance to one another. God bless you, and we'll see you tomorrow.